try to make it through my life in my way there's you I try to make it through these lies and that's all I do of course there are moments that we would have been more proud but of course the feeling was strange you know to look at the charts and have an ACDC Metallica Guns N' Roses all these bands behind us but it was kind of very strange Especially, who are ACDs? Yeah. <laughs> Very strange fan. Yeah, I, I, I heard about them. They are pretty famous. Yeah. I can play the one song. <laughs> well, of course, of course they, you know, uh, every time if you get an hour or, or you, you get in charge positions, they, they feel great at that moment, but of course you, you leave it behind and you don't think about it two months afterwards. Uh, there are plenty of bands, metal bands in Finland, but only three made it really in the US. That is Apocalyptica, Him and Nightwish. You already cooperated with Villa Valo on the song Bittersweet. Can we expect you to cooperate with uh, Thomas Holopan and, and why haven't you cooperated since? Yet. Thomas Holopan? Holopan. I didn't mean Thomas Holopan. Yes. Um, <laughs> Actually, his twin brother is playing in our band. They are like the look likes. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's always possible. We, we are good friends with uh, the guys from Nightwish. But um, I think their musical world and our musical world is not, not really meeting too strongly. At least at the moment. But we played some concerts with them. For example, we were playing with them in a, when they had the beginning to a concert of the world tour in Helsinki. Hockey Arena. We were as well there. So we have very good, uh, good and strong relations with them, but no plans for the future. I think they are just busy with their movie project or whatever crazy they are doing at the moment. But maybe one day. Can I? <laughs> this is again a question for Eika, though the previous ones you could have all answered, but we know that from watching your interviews, Pavo is addicted to skiing, Pertu loves operas and classical music, Miko loves to listen to Celine Dion, but is there anything, <laughs> is there anything that actually occupies your time aside from Apocalyptica and your family? Um, yes, yes I, I love gardening. I like climbing on trees and cut them down. <laughs> um, collect stones and pee in the forest. Okay. Pee in the forest. <laughs> Can I? Ask? Uh, so, um, the most impressive show that I've ever seen that you've done was uh, when you opened for the Olympics. Is there some secret agreement with the gov government that they're gonna call you at, at all the big events because you played the Eurovision <laughs> Song Contest, you no. played the Olympics? Yeah, actually the reason why we played that, they didn't always uh, the person who's been hired to collect the program to the event. And, uh, and unfortunately, <laughs> it's, we have known these people personally too well and they wanted us to be part of it. Especially the first championship. It sounded different, you know, when they were explaining the whole event for us <laughs> than it actually was. <laughs> we were not very proud about being part of it. That was horrible. Horrible. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen back there. Yeah, I was wondering, I mean, there are lots of young aspiring musicians here in Croatia, I can imagine. So I, I think they would love the guys to know that um, which one of you guys is most popular with the girls? <laughs> Meet our singer, Pippa Johnson. Pippa Johnson. I thought I had to say something. <laughs> Can I ask a Perti one question? Perti, your okay. first in instrument was cello called Passi, but you said that only Finnish people can understand what it really is. Can you at least, in general, explain what it really was and why was it so funny when you talked about it? Passi. <laughs> <laughs> well. 
Can you cut certain words out? <laughs> Basi is a Finnish name, but when you are in elementary school, you actually call your Willy as Basi. <laughs> Willy in English means kind of like the thing that lies in between our legs. Not between your but Basically, at least we should have one. And uh, therefore, I thought probably that it was funny. Bossy. <laughs> Which time was the best in Croatia for you and why? Today. <laughs> it's not a really great place. Yeah, it's like um, we played, uh, this summer we played a couple of different castle parks and uh, and uh, those have been very, very cool because uh, the theatrical atmosphere and surrounding really fits to our show. And uh, today it's going to be something really, really special. We'll be the best so far. <laughs> Okay. You, 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 your first question there, yeah. <laughs> yep. So, uh, out of all the tours you've been with, can you pick up one uh, thing that's been the best that you've lived through, through your tours and everything, and one worst thing that you've lived through, well, in your entire career? Mm -hmm. Wow. That's, that's, <laughs> that's impossible. That's impossible to choose. Um, Touring in different areas, they, it's very different, and, uh, and different things are good and different things are bad. Um, I think in general, the greatest thing is to see all the different cultures, you know, all the different kind of people everywhere in the world, feeling united when it comes to the music, and everybody listens to it the same way and understands it the same way. And therefore, all the human we are the same. But being here, uh, we all remember very well the tour we met the first time here in the Balkan. We, we played a tour in Turkey and then started to come up slowly. And that was, I can't remember the year, it was in 2006-7. We remember the tour pretty well actually, even we've done uh, much over a thousand shows. Last question. Again. <laughs> How do you put up with each other during tours? It's really hard to be with three other guys for a few months locked in the bus or aeroplane or whatever. Luckily we all like cuddling. <laughs> <laughs> of course we have had some different, different times during all these years. And, uh, but I don't know, for some reason we are having very good fun. And we are also lot. working a lot for like, maintaining their good relations because that's the main key to survive as a group and in such a close society. So uh, we need to take care of each other and ourselves, and that's the only way how to continue. Sometimes it's harder than when you're locked in the bus with uh, 15 other people, <laughs> not only four of us. And normally we have always a crew in the bus, and sometimes we have 16 people in total in the bus. For four weeks in a row, that kind of thing. They are playing kindly. They are Germans, that makes life hard. <laughs> Just a nice man. <laughs> There's really angry ball behind the corner or something. Watch out. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>